still on external affairs matters, but on a much brighter note. The minister, Alva Baptiste, has said his ministry's policies have brought gains to Senusha. The minister is often criticized about the results his efforts bring to the island. During the budget debate, Minister Baptiste elaborated on the fruits of his labor. Through our engagement internationally, we were able to attract two new embassies to St. Lucia. Argentina and Morocco have established embassies here. Embassies that rent from our locals, they inject monies in the local economy, like paying Wasco, going to our shops. They rent both for their homes and their offices, bringing in new monies into this country. We established diplomatic relations with Honduras, Kazakhstan, New Zealand. And as I talk about New Zealand, Mr. Speaker, we, we establish diplomatic relations with New Zealand and immediately signed a cooperation agreement on climate change, we, we, on renewable energy, etc. My permanent representative, Honorable Minister Rambali, traveled to New Zealand to be part of the discussions to include St. Lucia as one of the islands for geothermal energy. Last year, our Minister for Energy was able to go to New Zealand to sign an MOU for New Zealand to support our efforts in geothermal energy. So you see, Mr. Speaker, it is not just in isolation. This government works as a team. We support agriculture, we support health, we support every single ministry so that we can function and, and move forward in such difficult times. The minister also announced the opening of an embassy in Taiwan. Doing so, he indicated, will help in attracting foreign direct investment. We travel to Taiwan. I made the announcement. And very soon, the prime minister and I will be returning to Taiwan to officially set the embassy in motion. To take care of our students, yes, but also to attract trade in the wider Asian community. Because you see, foreign direct investment is also very important for us to stimulate greater employment in this country. The Prime Minister, again, through our system of having honorary councils, ambassadors at large, etc., wanted a ship registry. We have worked extensively on that project, and very soon, very soon, Mr. Speaker, we will set in motion a ship registry for St. Lucia that will bring benefits to this country. <laughs>